Well, today is, of course, Valentine's Day. Love is in the air, and the pandemic isn't stopping celebrations. CBS News' Lisa Rosner live in Times Square with more on that. Lisa. That's right, Jessica. Love is on full display here at the so-called crossroads of the world. And here on the Times Square steps, 12 couples just renewed their vows at a social distance. It's an annual tradition here that usually draws around 300 couples. Since 11 this morning, West 46th Street and Broadway has been the place two couples got engaged and where another couple had a full-blown wedding. And all of it was live streamed for the world to see. For Denise and Robert Marte, they actually were married 12 years ago in front of a judge, but believe it or not, they did not take one photo. So they always wanted to have that flashy big ceremony, and today it was. After all, they did meet here in Times Square. So we spoke to them and one of the newly engaged couples. We met in a bar in the city, so it's funny that we're back here. Like uh, it, he mentioned before, it's full circle. It's come full circle. It's Excellent. Very nice. We, we had a rough 2020, so it, it couldn't have happened at a better time. It's the most important place for me in the U.S. You feel the magic. You feel the emotions. It's it's once in a lifetime experience that you have. I'm so happy. He doesn't tell me anything. Just surprised. <laughs> And another gift for couples looking to dine out in New York. This weekend, restaurants' capacity was increased to 25%. And tonight, for the first time, restaurants can stay open one hour later until 11 p.m. Live in Times Square, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Love is in the air. Thanks, Lisa.